Hello internet. I'm gonna try another one, yeah. Switch it on. Input twelve point two eight volts DC at two hundred and eight milliamps. 208 milliamps. See that's 0 0.2, well, 210 milliamps. That is a scope reading. I've got my one probe on the on the, the transistor here, and I've got my wine bottle standing on top of. Uh, big bifile pancake quill, the wine bottle, and I'm feeding back to the output. Oh, come on! From the aluminium rod down the middle feeding to the light again to the diode bridge I've got two diode bridges there so I'm going in through the one through the other one and then to the two big capacitors and the lights are running off just the one end. Just the one end. It's the lights. And then I've got my earth ground not going through the, uh, the resistor there because the lights and the earth ground is connected to the one side. Basically just a place to hook my earth ground to. And those are the five LED lights. If I disconnect yeah. And in the meantime, we are charging the capacitors as well. Capacitors at the moment at 29 volts. Now, what I can do is when I disconnect the earth ground, obviously the lights are going to go off. But then I take that. Come on, focus. that resistor and I hook it up to the capacitors to the negative on the capacitors and then they drain the voltage out of the capacitors so that way I'm using whatever is inside the capacitors to power them now they're running down so I disconnect that, bring it back, get the earth ground, connect the earth ground again, and the lights are on, and now the capacitors has got a chance to charge up again while I'm running the 
LED lights off the one end of the battery. One thing I will tell you is that um, if I don't put that load on the one side of those two capacitors there, if I don't have the, the lights running, It won't charge the capacitors. Now, I don't know what the reason for that is. It does charge, but very, very slowly. Let's see if I put the earth ground back and I'm running the load, then you can actually see those two capacitors charging up much, much quicker. This cold electricity, cold energy, is very fascinating. Okay, this is not running at all, so it's just a cord that's lying around here. And again, pancake coil running off one transistor D1555. High voltage transistor from a TV, uh, from a CRT TV. milliamps at 12.27 volts and the yellow trace on the big capacitors the blue trace is the trace here on the collector of the transistor Hi, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.